Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you a Yankee Candle. This is in the scent Applewood Orchard. It is 22 ounces and it is a large jar, one wick. Now some of you candle experts out there may remember this candle. It actually came out, are you ready for this? 10 years ago. This was a returning treasure. Um, I bought this candle last year. But basically, if you don't know what a treasure is from Yankee Candle, it's a candle that had been retired for quite some time. And then for some odd reason, Yankee Candle wants to bring that scent back. So they do and they call it a treasure. So I bought this candle one year ago, but the scent is from 10 years ago. Okay, so why are you seeing this now and not last year when I bought it. Well, if you go back in my videos, you guys will see that I hauled it last year, but I just didn't get around to burning it. And I thought, you know, after hearing the reviews some people were given, um, I wanted to wait a year. The reviews, you know, that people have out there, you know, from last year were, oh, this, you know, horrible, horrible burn. I can't smell a thing. It's just really, really bad. So I thought, you know what, let me let this candle marinate for a year, see what I get, and, you know, let's go from there. So let me first read the description um, on the website of the candle. It reads, this rustic blend of tart red apples and smoky wood creates an inviting glow. So for me, the scent you know, yes, I could smell woods, I could smell apples, more of the warm scented smoky apple, which I absolutely love. I also, you know, could smell like the oak trees, a um, little bit of cedar wood in there. It was just really, really nice. A little bit of uh, vetiver in there as well. I just, I love that like smoky, woodsy apple, you know, kind of scent. And that's what I got from this. Um, the throw on this for me, it started out pretty strong. It started as an eight, but then it kind of dropped down to like a low six due to the performance. So as you guys can see, um, the way I do my candle reviews, I record them and then I do these voiceovers. So the candle has been burned all the way down. But as you're seeing in this clip right here, there's no wax pool. There was no wax pool. Um, it never happened. Um, I had problems right off the bat. Um, it was very, very hard for me to get an even wax pool. I never really did. I tried the Illumilid. I tried foiling. I tried cotton balling. I tried scooping out the wax on the sides where it didn't, you know, perform correctly and it just didn't work. Um, I just had to foil it the whole time and it was, the burn was just awful. Um, I didn't have any soot, you know, but like I said, the bad burn, but I could smell the candle and I feel like that had something to do with me waiting a year. Now, like I said, you know, all you candle collectors out there or people who just, you know, buy candles and light them right away. I mean, you may not have the patience to wait a year. I just wanted to see if it would make a difference. And it did. I feel like sometimes when you wait, you have to let the candle and the wax and the scent marinate. Um, it doesn't have to be a year. It could be two months, could be six months, depending on your patience level. Um, obviously, I have a lot of candles in my collection, so, you know, I could afford to wait. But anyway, that was, you know, my review on the Applewood Orchard. Um, I didn't, you know, ever take it back. I, you know, just burned it all the way down, and I did enjoy the scent. It was just the performance was really, really sucky, but I do love the label and I loved everything else about the candle. It's just too bad that there was some kind of default um, that had happened, you know, that they couldn't get the, the performance to go well for anybody. So thank you guys so much for watching my review. Please don't forget to give this review a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more candle reviews in the future. And comment down below if you think this was a candle or scent that you would enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and happy day.